In this video, I'm going to show you how to use DOSBox on Mac OS. And it, by the way, works wonderfully on the M1 Macs. First thing we have to do is download DOSBox from DOSBox.com. Click on Downloads, get the Mac OS version. It is a disk image file. Download it and install it. If you do not know how to do that, I do have a video clip where I will show you that right about now. So to get the Mac version of DOSBox, once again, you got to go to DOSBox.com, click on Downloads, and then we want the Mac OS version. It's a DMG, a disk image, and then you click on it and download it. All right, now that I have downloaded DOSBox, I want to go get the application out of the uh, disk image package. I'm going to say Open. Here it is. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to go to my applications folder, right click, paste item. So now I've installed DOSBox. And if I go to run it, you may get a couple things happen. If you have an M1 Mac and you have never put in an Intel application, it's going to need to download Rosetta 2. Otherwise, when you go to run it, it will warn you that you have downloaded this from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And yes, I do. And here is the base DOS box. Now, once you've got it installed and you double click on it out of the application folder, it will just run, but it doesn't know where on your hard drive your DOS application is or what you want to run. So we have to issue some commands at the command prompt to make that happen. So the first thing we have to do is mount the virtual disk drive C folder. So in this case I'm saying mount disk drive C as tilde Orion. I have the game Master of Orion in my home folder. That's what tilde means. Once I've done this it says it's mounted and you can see it's users Michael Kent Orion and then I can say C colon to switch to that virtual disk drive C and then to run the actual game the application is called Orion and I type that in and it will run the game and it will start running in a very small window and if you click inside the window it will capture the mouse so no matter where you move the mouse it will not be able to escape this window which is very annoying you've got to know the secret squirrel keystroke to release the mouse from the DOS box window. So here are some keystrokes you really need to know. Control F10 is to release the mouse from the window. Now on the Mac you're going to have to hold down the FN key, the function key button, to turn the top row of keys into function keys instead of their usual functions. If you want to run your DOS application in full screen, it's option key enter that will toggle you to full screen. You hit option key enter again and you'll go back to windowed. It's a toggle. I don't think you're going to need control F11 or control F12 on a Mac because I think the emulation is going to be more than fast enough. Uh, especially on an M1 Mac, you're just not going to need those. But there are more special keys and you can find them at this link I'm listing right here. And that's the basics of running DOSBox and running DOSBox applications. Alright, so I'm going to launch DOSBox out of my applications folder and there it is in all of its glory. Don't need to look at the applications folder anymore. And you can see DOSBox is running at quite a low resolution because DOS was not a high resolution operating system. So to run my DOS application, first I have to use the mount command say I want to mount disk drive C and in this case I want to go tilde forward slash Orion that's my home directory a subfolder in my home directory called Orion or in this case users Michael Kent Orion then I go C colon to switch to disk drive C and then I type in the name of the DOS command I want to run in this case I'm going to be running the game master of Orion now at this point my mouse is not captured inside the window, but you also see I cannot resize the window. That's all grayed out. As soon as I click in there, my mouse is captured. I can no longer move the mouse outside the window. So function key, control, F10, 
released my mouse. If I click back in there, it's captured again, but now I can go option return to go to full screen and option return again to come out and I'll click back in there to capture my mouse and get to the main prompt and you can see that my mouse pointer will not come outside unless I do the sequence squirrel function control F10. So and I cannot resize it. It's either this small window or full screen. That's where a custom config comes in. So right now I'm just going to click back in here to get focus and say quit to DOS and then to close down DOS box I can just say exit. Now if I want to run that window at an arbitrary size, so it takes up two thirds of the screen, but it looks just like a window, so I'm not locked into full screen or I'm not running a teeny tiny window that's very hard to read, you're going to have to edit the DOSBox configuration file. Now on the Mac, the best way I have found to get the default configuration file is to go into DOSBox, issue this command, config dash write config conf, and then the name of the file you want to write it out as. Now once you do that, unfortunately, it's going to drop it into the application folder. So here is that custom config I wrote out. So after you get that file, move it out of your application folder into the folder with your application. In my case, it was the game Master of Orion. Now, then you're going to edit that file, and let me show you the changes I made. I made sure in the configuration file that it said full screen equals false, and then I changed the full resolution to however many pixels I wanted on the screen for the size of the application, and I found it's best to also set window resolution to the same value. Now, what I do with the old values is I stick a pound sign in front of them, so I don't lose them from the configuration file. This comments out that line. Now, so that your mouse is not captured inside of the window, you want to say auto lock equals false. And then most importantly, you want to say output equals open GL. Now, if you're on Windows, you would say output equals D draw, direct draw. But for the Mac OS, use open GL. So those are the changes I need to make to the config file. And then finally, at the bottom of the config file, I can put in the commands to tell it to run my application automatically. So mount C as tilde forward slash Orion. That's making my virtual disk drive C. Change to disk drive C. I'm clearing the screen just to get those informational messages off the DOS box screen. Then I'm running my DOS application, which is Orion.exe, and then I threw exit in at the end so it would exit DOSBox when it's finished running it. So let me run you through doing that. I'll, I've got a video clip here where I step through these steps to get the configuration file and save it. So to edit the DOSBox configuration file, we've got to have the current configuration file to start with. Now I did a lot of searching and a lot of googling trying to find out where that default configuration file lived on the Mac version of DOSBox and didn't have a lot of luck. However, this method seems to work really well. I'm just going to tell DOSBox to write out the current configuration of DOSBox. So that's config dash write config and then you give it a name and I'll just say dosbox.conf. Now by default when you do that unfortunately it writes it out to the applications folder and that's not where I want it so I'm going to move it into the folder of the DOS game I want to run because that's going to be the custom config I'm going to use for that one game. All right, so I've moved the DOSBox configuration file into the game folder, in this case, Orion, Master of Orion, and this is the DOSBox configuration file, and I'm just going to open it with text edit, and we can look at the changes we need to make to be able to run Master of Orion in a window and also not 
capture the mouse. So the, the major changes are as I showed you in the presentation earlier, but the, the first thing I did was by trial and error, I figured out that the resolution I wanted on this game was 1000 by 850. So I set full resolution equals and I also set window resolution equals. Now, I, I kept the original settings by putting a pound sign in front of them. So the originally it was full resolution equals original and uh, window resolution equals true. And I, I found it's best to set both the window resolution and the full resolution to uh, the same value. Now the other thing I changed is I made sure full screen was set to false instead of full screen set to true. Now the other thing that's very important to do on the Mac version of DOSBox is to make sure your output is set to OpenGL so it can render to an arbitrary size. And really the only other thing I changed was auto lock equals false instead of auto lock equals true. So now when it's running DOSBox in a window, it will not capture your mouse. You don't have to go uh, function key control F10 to free your mouse. So those are the settings I changed. Uh, the only other thing I changed was I changed uh, the scaler to HQ3X that seems to render it a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. And then finally the commands at the end to run Master of Orion. So uh, echo off, which you may or may not need. Then I needed to mount the virtual disk drive C as my home directory, tilde forward slash Orion. Then I changed to disk drive C, I cleared the screen, and I ran the game. So I can put that in the config file so it will run the game automatically for me. So those are the changes I had to make to uh, the DOSBox config, and these are the same changes I had to make for running a custom config for Windows. The only difference is for uh, Windows, I did not use OpenGL for the rendering. I used, I used, let me find it here. There it is. I used DirectDraw in, for my, uh, for my drawing mode and for my output instead of OpenGL. And the only other thing I had to change was uh, how I mapped, how I mounted the drive, because obviously tilde slash is a Unix thing, a Mac thing for home directory, and it's different for Windows. So finally, to get DOSBox to use our configuration instead of the default configuration, we have to create an automation using the automator. And I'll show you that in a clip. It's much easier to show you than to give you the steps in this presentation. All right, so the last piece of the puzzle is telling DOSBox to use the custom configuration file I created versus the default configuration. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I'm going to use the automator. So on the automator here, I'm going to do an application automation. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to scroll down through this multitude of choices and I'm going to pick run shell script. Double click here. And then, rather than typing in the shell script, I, I've already done this, so I'm just going to paste it in and explain what I did with it. Well, the first thing you have to do is change directory to the folder of the DOSBox app. So that's going to be CD, change directory, applications, DOSBox.app, forward slash contents, forward slash Mac OS. And in that Mac OS folder is the DOSBox binary executable. So then I want to run DOSBox. So dot meaning current directory that we just changed directory into DOSBox. And here is the glue that makes it all happen. I say dash 
config dash conf, and then I tell it the path to the config file I want to use, which is tilde, which means home directory, Orion, that's the folder of the DOS game, and this is the name of the configuration file I saved into that Orion folder and customized. So that's what I need to do here, and then I can say file, save, pick the destination. I want it to go into my home folder, Michael Kent, and then I'd give it the name I want it to have. And hit save. So now we put it all together. We just have to test it. Here is my automation, Master of Orion, that will tell DOSBox to run Master of Orion using my custom config, which is going to run it in a good size window that takes up most of the screen without capturing the mouse. Here we go. And it's running. It's gone to the correct size. It's going into the intro of Master of Orion. If I move my mouse outside the window, you can see my mouse is not captured. And look at that beautiful DOS game running on the M1 Mac. So there you have it. DOSBox runs equally well whether you're running it on the PC or the Mac, including the M1 Mac. But right now, I've got a Nova a supernova event to take care of in Master of Orion. So I want you all to take care. So long.